I see so many companies investing thousands of dollars in a promo video and making these huge mistakes. So I'm gonna walk you through the five biggest mistakes I see companies make with their promo video, how to avoid them and what to do instead. So our company recently invested in creating a promo video. And while we were going through the process, it really drove home for me all the mistakes that I see companies do over and over again when they create their own promo video. So the first mistake that I see companies make is that they try to make this promo video one size fits all. Meaning they try to make it good for the marketing team, the sales team, they try to make the CEO happy, and they basically try to take a hundred different people's opinions and ideas and needs and create one video that suits them all. And spoiler alert, that's not possible. A video's power comes from its ability to draw out emotion from your audience. And if you try to put too many concepts and too many ideas and too many emotions in it, you'll actually just end up overwhelming people. So the more that you can choose one specific goal and one specific target audience and one specific need that this video meets, the more likely your promo video is actually going to be impactful. In fact, if you need a video for your marketing team and your sales team and HR, it should be different videos for different goals and different target audiences. The second mistake I see companies make is they cram in way too much information. Now, I'm sure that your product or service is amazing, but how much do you wanna bet that the person who's watching this video really doesn't care? So instead of putting so much information and everything you wanna say in the video, go back to that one goal and that one target audience and ask yourself, what is the one thought or emotion that I wanna trigger in my audience and what do they really need to see and hear in order to trigger that emotion or thought? Once you've simplified it like that, you should cut out everything else that doesn't lead to that goal. Now again, this might take some time and drafts to work through, but really the more simple you can make it, the less information you can put in, the better. The third mistake I see companies make is that they spend way too much time on the promo video. They spend months in the pre-production stages, produ production, editing, re-editing, making different drafts. Anyone who works in the business world knows that things don't last for very long. The features and benefits that your product has now might not be the ones that they have in two months from now. And so spending all this time on a video that might not be relevant in a couple months from now isn't worth your time. Instead, you should fo focus on the more emotional and global aspects that you want your video to convey, and then really just try to finish it within two months. And if it's not, then you're wasting too much time and your video isn't gonna have the impact that you want because it's going to be too late by the time it gets out. The fourth mistake companies make is that they spend way too much time talking about their product and themselves. Your promo video should actually not be meant to promote you. It should be meant to connect to your audience, and that means that you need to show your audience what they wanna see, which is not you and your product. What they do care about is themselves. And if you can show them themselves in the video, then they'll pay attention. So that means that your video should not be a love poem to your product, and it should be a love poem to your target customer. And the fifth and probably biggest mistake I see companies make is that they don't have a launch plan for how they're actually gonna promote this video. That's amazing that you spent all of this time and money into creating something that you really think is going to resonate with your audience. But where is this video going to go? How are people going to find your video? Is it going to be on your website? Will it be on YouTube? Are you posting it on social media? If you're posting it on social media, how are you getting people to engage? Just posting one time and hoping that it become a viral sensation is really unlikely. You really have to have a plan for how you're getting your audience to see it, how you're gonna drive traffic to your video. Without a plan, your video is worthless. So before you even create your promo video, make sure you have a very, very clear and detailed plan of exactly how you're going to turn people into an audience to watch your video. Of course, we don't want it to just be theoretical. So we've actually created a really simple video strategy brief that you can use before creating every single video to really help you narrow down your goal, your target audience, and exactly what should be in your video so that it achieves this goal. I promise this is going to be super, super helpful. As always, I'm Simon Felder, and I will see you next week with another video.